Ooh, that was spicy. Oh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gracia. Creepy. So today I'm gonna share with you guys some scary stories that have happened in this house. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God, I'm feeling like food coma. I just ate these tacos. So if you enjoy mukbangs and you enjoy true scary stories, you can believe me or not believe me. You can hit up the people I mentioned. Don't mean to spill anyone's tea. Sorry guys, let me know if I mean, honestly, I don't talk to these people, so it's fine. <laughs> My horchata. Sorry, this is going to make you want Mexican food. Go support your local restaurants. So today, I'm going to be eating taquitos over here. I'll zoom you guys in just to see. The uh, birria a little bit, I improvised because I only had Link. I already finished the res and then got the consomme and then my horchata yummy for those of you who don't know me in person my name is Gracia and I have like some ghost stories from this house and I don't know why I've never told my experiences I guess it's like been the first while that like stuff hasn't happened because every time you talk about it it happens but you know what protection stone on her lap and go ahead and get started. So I made this be I already finished the, the wrist, like I told you, um, cause it's so good. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat on this. Sorry for the But yeah, I already finished like the beef that I made the broth with. So I had flank and I made like cheesy tacos. Mmm. Sober. Don't judge my crack mug. Oh, I got pillow duty. So I moved into this house. I've moved out of it here once for a little bit, but I would spend the night with John and I would witness stuff. But I say we moved in like, um, three, four years ago, four, no, four, five years ago. So these have accumulated over time. Um, there's like more things, but I'm just gonna tell you from, you know, chronological order, the scariest things, or least scary to most scary. Um, so the first, like as soon as I moved here, I felt, you know, something immediately because me and John moved in and we lived here alone before other people moved in and um, I just would always see um, like shadows in the mirror I had this big mirror by my dining room table and now I do my makeup there a lot because the lighting feels good And I would always just see like shadow people like boop, right behind me. But that doesn't really scare me because <clears throat> Ooh, that's spicy. Oh, <coughs> cause you can like. Mm. You can almost like excuse that, you know. So I would always just be like, oh, you're seeing things. And not think anything of it. Um, a couple times my china dividers would fall. Especially if I was filming. Um, no, or would it be when I wasn't filming? Yeah, no, because I don't remember getting any fo footage of it. I would never catch it. And I do have two cats, so I would be like, okay. 
Maybe those are my cats. Right? And I told John, and he was like, oh, whatever. And he was really skeptical. He didn't really believe me. At the beginning. So, one day, we were doing laundry. And usually I just do it here in the living room. Put the clothes on the couch. I have really bad hearing, so I did not hear this, but whatever. Because <laughs> it finally made John believe me. Um, so apparently he heard laughter coming from the bedroom. And then he, which I did see this part. I didn't hear the laughter, but then I saw a pile of clothes kind of get knocked off this recliner that we have. And it was just like rocking. Um, I like, I was like, how did the clothes fall? Cause it looked like it was knocked over, but I do understand that recliners aren't necessarily stable like couches are. So I like, I, like I said, I kind of excused it away, but John immediately freaked out cause he had heard laughing before. And then he just like pulled me out of the house and I was like, dude, what happened? I was kind of scared. I thought someone broke in and he was like trying to escape. But he was like, no, dude, like I heard laughter. So I was like, oh shit. And I was like, do you finally believe me? And he did. Um, so we got roommates shortly after that. Um, my cousin moved in with me and his best friend. And we had like kind of told them, but like I don't think his best friend believed in ghosts and then my cousin does because I feel like Mexicans have a lot of urban tales so he was like oh she was kind of already scared moving in so I don't recall my cousin experiencing anything traumatizing but he was already freaked out so he would constantly experience like the cabinets kind of making this sound and I would constantly hear this one too almost like someone just opened it for it to bounce back closed so he constantly heard that he's like a late snacker and he said he would always hear it when he was making his snacks and it would freak him out um and I don't really know about John's best friend if he ever experienced anything alone that freaked him out but um yes there was okay I'll tell y'all in a minute I'm building it up right so this experience was the first time that it ever like made itself known in front of all of us at the same time and I feel like we were all in a very like bad state of mind all of us were kind of depressed alcoholics drinking a lot and I feel like that kind of stuff attracts it right so we were all chilling here probably drinking smoking watching a movie and we had this trash can, standard trash can, and it just, the lid just flipped off and flew across the room from where my chalkboard is to my backyard door, like straight up. We all stop, look at it. <laughs> We've all experienced things at this point kind of by ourselves, so we all knew there was something going on. And we just were like, let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, like that didn't happen I don't remember who said that but someone said that and we just ignored it and kept going this thing did not like drinking it did not like smoking it did not like anything like altering it because <laughs> there was this one time where me and John went away we, we went to California I don't remember where we went but we went on vacation somewhere But yeah, we didn't know where we went, or I don't know where we went, but um, all I remember is that I had texted, which is John's best friend, had texted him, and he told him, yo, like he just sent him a picture of a broken bottle of alcohol, and apparently him and my cousin, Angel, were chilling, drinking alone, and 
it just knocked over a I don't know if I can say that word and a bottle of alcohol so yeah um like I said it does it did not like that stuff and I feel like that's one of the reasons why it's chill out you know when you have a baby <laughs> stuff changes um and also the people that lived here like I said we were all kind of depressed and it just like imagine all of us that energy in here was probably not good um <clears throat> but yeah it did not like any of that stuff and it broke their and that was that you think you think you think you stopped there right no the scariest thing that happened happened to another roommate this guy lived here after he moved out but yeah um so i was i was already at work and john was at work as well so i i was gone john was gone and it was just us three that lived here and he was getting ready for work he closed he was a waiter he was closing that night and he smoked cigarettes so he likes to smoke a cigarette he liked to smoke a cigarette before he went to work because it's raining can you hear the rain anyways he liked to smoke a cigarette before he would like drove to work because there was something wrong with his window and he couldn't roll it back up so he just had to smoke before he left because he couldn't do it while he was driving and he said he was just chilling outside we have like a bench outside <laughs> and he heard the door lock on him and he freaked out because he knew nobody was home and then he was just grateful at that point that he had left the back door unlocked because he either goes in the backyard or the front yard depending or whatever but he had left it unlocked from like smoking outside earlier and he was able to get back in to get his car keys and get the fuck out like it wasn't even time for him to leave yet but he was a little bit early to work that day because he just was so scared and that one freaked me out because i had lived here when that happened and at this point i was pregnant so i was really scared of something scary happening and i was having really weird dreams so that really creep me out and that was by far the scariest thing that has happened in this house those aren't the only things but these are like the stories that I present to the people right before they spend the night with me or they come over to my house to freak them out and like I said I've never told these stories they've accumulated over the years so I thought what better time than now to you know tell you guys that it's since it's spooky season you know but yeah oh my god my mouth's watering from drinking this pudria and I will put the recipe that I used in the description bar I love views on the road if y'all watch them let me know um, they have bomb recipes bomb authentic Mexican food really good and this was my first time making it it was pretty good I'm not gonna lie um, I'll make some tweaks next time because I didn't use it like exact peppers that she used I just used what I had it was freaking good it just wasn't as spicy as I wanted it to be but yeah it's cool because my baby got to eat some he actually liked it you know it's a good recipe if my son likes it because he is so picky um, but yeah that's about it hopefully you enjoyed these scary stories I'm sorry if I have food in my teeth um, let me know if you would like any more story times because I have a lot and um, let us know if anything creepy has happened to you in the comments yeah I love true scary stories I don't know like if they tickle my fancy and I know that people could just be lying but when you get in the mood and like you just listen to it for entertainment whatever it hits the spot you know just like these tacos did so check out the recipe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye which will be next week i post like twice a week so consider subscribing if i tickle your fancy <laughs> oh my god i still i swear i got fucking peppers on my teeth okay bye